dancing mantis. How long she had been on my back, I could not estimate because I had been kneeling in that section of the garden for a while before I felt a strange sensation on my neck. Turned to see a long green insect staring into my eyes and motioning towards my lips with the legs that are usually praying or praying in actuality. I laughed. The creature seemed to have been observing my work of trimming limbs and pulling weeds literally from over my shoulder. Based on size, I assume this was a female praying mantis, all green, her, antenn her antenna, her body, and her eyes seemed an endless depth of the color, as if she were the very vibration of bright, bright green. She swayed to the right, so I moved my head to the left. She mimicked. We signaled to each other in this manner typical of her species. We spent these moments mesmerized by existence through each other's form. I motioned for her to exit, but she was tenacious. Her legs were actually a bit sticky, and so was her message, but I had some resistance to paying attention. There were a lot of tasks, and only me to handle them, so I had no time to play. This was the essence of her message, but I had an imbalance of work to play. It was partial failure to accept the form in which I'd been cast, this rather elegant yet cumbersome greenness. Gently, I reached around, lifted her off my shoulder, and placed her on the shrubbery next to me, scooted to a nearby position, and resumed the role of plant tender. Within a few minutes, I felt her crawl on my back again, and I made a disparaging sound about it. It was almost time to leave. I had some meeting or appointment and needed to shower first. Stood and shimmied my shoulders, but no insect appeared. Pulled at the hem of my shirt, but could not sense her whereabouts between the t-shirt and cotton jacket. Wondering if the outdoor shower could be of service, I figured she could withstand rain, so a bit of cool water would not drown her, but possibly prompt her to exit. Checked my cell phone for the accurate time and realized I had to leave immediately or I'd be late for my appointment. Drove without resting my back on the seat. Fortunate the distance was short between my home and this property used primarily for prayer and related activities. Shifting gears, I did my best to not squish the creature that had hitchhiked in my clothing. Quelling self-judgment for what seemed like ridiculous effort I thought about stillness, because I knew the praying mantis was still with me, although I could not sense any motion from her. The evening activity was peace-related, as I spent all of my time as an activist for nonviolence and environmental stewardship. Parked in the driveway of my home, understanding the messages for me, I was to preserve the actions of worship while adding a playful element. Also, the message is to be relayed through me. The universe wishes to be its beautiful self. Looked in the rearview mirror and saw the praying mantis on top of my head, green on messy blonde. She too looked in the mirror, swaying back and forth as if communicating with another of her kind. Even my laughter could not disturb her dancing with her own image. Thank you for putting the place back together for me. I hope you were able to hear me.